You know that feeling you have when you find some money in the couch that you completely forgot that you had? It's amazing. I wanted to share a few ways that you can find some money that you may have forgotten that you had, you may be missing out on, or just some rebates and some cash back that you may not be taking full advantage of. So I'm going to show you exactly these legit free ways that you can find some missing money so that you can put it back in your wallet. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm a blogger at The Frugal Ginger, where I love sharing money saving tips and tricks to help you run your family and your finances more effectively and efficiently. If that's something that you want to learn more about, make sure to subscribe to this channel below or check out my blog at frugalginger.com. Now today we're going to go over um, some pretty amazing ways that you can find some missing money. Now the first way to go about this is to find some unclaimed money. Now there are about three different legit sites that I recommend you doing this on. One is unclaimed.org. The other one is missingmoney.com. And the third one is to go to your state treasury website and you can do a search there. Now, a lot of this happens when you move from state to state or maybe someone passes away and they had money in accounts, say for some old utility companies or maybe they overpaid on a few of their bills or they never got their deposit back. This is where you can find that kind of money. And when you go to these websites, it's important to look for each and every state that you've lived in. If you've gotten married, um, maybe once or twice or three times, look for all the names that you've used. So check your maiden name and any kind of married names that you have made use. This is a great thing to do for your grandparents or your parents. People that are a little bit elderly and may have forgotten all of the bills that they've paid in the past. I did a quick search for my grandparents' names and for my mom, and I actually found some missing money for my mom. She had a deposit from a telephone company, you know, way back in the day when people had landlines, and I got her about $75 back. So you're welcome, mom. So that's the first way to go and check. Make sure you don't have money just sitting in some account that you could have in your bank account. Now, the next thing you want to do is to make sure you're not missing out on any employee benefits that you may have. A lot of people don't take full advantage of flexible spending accounts that can help pay for health care. Um, you, if your company does offer 401k matching, I cannot stress this enough. Make sure you are putting in the maximum amount that they will match. Usually it's around five or 6% for most companies. So make sure you're putting in the full five, 6% into your 401k because that's doubling your money for free and you don't want to miss out on that. Another thing that a lot of companies offer now are reimbursements for gym memberships. So if you're taking care of your health, they're not having to pay more for health insurance. So make sure if they offer reimbursements for gyms you take advantage of that if you're going a lot of companies now will even offer money to help pay for adoption fees or um, some will even help with fertility treatments so sit down and really go over all of your employee benefits that they offer to make sure you're not missing out on any kind of money now speaking of health insurance sometimes they will offer rebates i know that i have um, I know that my health insurance offers a prepaid debit card. They'll send me if I get a flu shot every year, if I get my yearly exam, they'll put money onto that debit card so that I can then go and spend it to pay. And it is particular items. I can't use it to pay for prescriptions, but I can use it to pay for any co-pays or any kind of medical bills that I may get. So that does help. So if your health insurance offers that, make sure you sign up for it. It's, it was completely free for me to do. And I can earn up to, I think it's either $90 a year or 100, 120. So when I got the flu shot, they put $30 onto my prepaid card and I can then go and use it to pay for any copays that I need. So it really does help me spend less out of pocket or any of my doctor visits, and I can even use it to pay for my daughter's doctor visits too, so that helps a lot. Now, if you've been watching this channel, you've heard me talk about cashback apps and all kinds of different rebates that you should be using. They're all free. Um, obviously, don't 
use them just to get the cash back if you're not going to buy it anyway. But if there are items on those cash back apps that you're planning on buying and you can get rebates on those, why wouldn't you? I mean, that's money you're missing out on. So make sure you sign up for them. Um, I'll leave links in the description to all the ones that I use and love. But most of them are um, Ibotta, Rakuten, Saving Star, and Shopkick are the ones that I use and have gotten over thousands of dollars back just by using those cashback apps. Also, don't forget all the rebates that are available to members of the military, uh, first responders, even students and senior discounts. I know sometimes they, people will offer nurses and teachers discounts. So don't be afraid to ask or look up on websites to make sure that you are getting the full discounts available to you so that you're not missing out on that free money. You can get a lot of the discounts at movie theaters, restaurants, um, select retail stores, even grocery stores. And I know that a lot of car dealerships will offer military discounts. So make sure to ask about all that kind of stuff. Now, if you have a credit card, another great way to look for some free money that you may not know that you could get put back into your account, go and see if you have any kind of reward program associated with your credit card. Make sure you're using them and not letting the points expire. Uh, if you don't have a rewards program connected to your credit card account, you may be able to still score some great deals. I know with my credit card, usually if I spend $50 at a certain store, they'll give me a $10 credit on my account. Those kind of offers vary from month to month. So I always make sure to go into the website on my credit card and look and see what the offers are. Some will even offer some travel insurance for free. Some may even offer car rentals or some mobile phone insurance for free. If you use your credit card to pay for your mobile phone bill every month, so that's money that you don't have to spend out of pocket. So just sit down and look and see what all they offer so that you're not missing out. And the last little tip that I have to make sure you're not leaving any money on the table is to make sure you sit down with a certified accountant and go over your tax bill. Make sure you're taking full advantage of all the deductions that you can and that you're not overpaying on your bill. I did a video earlier about all the things you can do at the end of the year to lower your tax bill. So go check that out if you're watching this at that right time of year, or just see the tips that I share so that you can use them for the end of this year. So those are just a few quick tips to make sure you're not leaving any money on the table, that you get it, you put it back into your savings account or back into your bank account. And if you found this helpful, which I hope you did, um, make sure to subscribe below and I will see you next time.